Hi, I'm going to show you my presentation for SynSense, a mobile application concept I created for my thesis for my master's degree in design. Now, the first minute of this presentation was not filmed properly, so I'm going to fill in the blanks by um, reenacting exactly what I did and said in the first minute. So, yeah. Let's go. Hello everyone, my name is Fotis Kriazidis. I'm an MA student from Drama, Greece, and the tinkerer of all things audiovisual. And yes, I have an Amish beard, which is fitting considering how out of touch I am with modern technology. Yes, I'm a little bit of a Luda. So, let's begin with a countdown, shall we? Five, four, three, two, come on! One, synesthesia! <laughs> What? Synesthesia? What? 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 Synesthesia? What is this? Okay. Synesthesia comes from two words. Sin and destiny. Plus and senses. Synesthesia is a mental phenomenon that occurs when two or more sensations are occurring together. For example, we can listen to color. Or we can taste words. All of us are born with it but most people lose it after they grow up. But some of us, for some reason, we don't know why yet, still keep it. We are called synesthetes. <coughs> uh, synesthesia was uh, discovered in the early 90s with the advancement of MRI technology. Scientists discovered that in certain people, two parts of the brain that uh, correspond to senses, for example, sight and sound, can draw blood at the same time. Here are the five most common forms of synesthesia. The first one is graphing color, which I have. Um, we can perceive letters as having some kind of color. For example, it is different in every person. For example, I see, I perceive A as having a yellow color, although you can see it's white. And another person with synesthesia may see A as purple. Sound to color synesthesia. It uh, happens when we can hear the sounds by having some kind of color. For example, when I listen to an electric guitar, I, it, it sounds yellow to me, or a piano sounds blue to me. Number to form. I don't have it, so be, which is probably why I suck at math. Um, um, when a synesthete with number form synesthesia sees a number, they can sense a map of numbers inside their head. Personification, that's a weird one. The synesthetes with personification can see letters as having some kind of personality of their own. For example, they can sense the letter S as being conniving and sly, or I as being shy, or H as being more shy than I. Lexical gustatory, the weirdest and rarest of all. It happens when somebody listens to a word and they taste something at the same time. For example, the word couch tastes like chocolate. Or the word, they hear the word basketball and they taste pumpkin. And some synesthetes have utilized synesthesia to create art. For example, Ansaltz has made this painting based on how she hears the works of Vivaldi. Jack Coulter. This guy has a very severe form of synesthesia. It, it, because in very extreme cases, such as Jack's, synesthesia can be classified as a mental disorder. Jack's life is crazy. Lies, sounds, colors, everything around him drives him nuts. But he channels it into his art. This is an everyday life, everyday in, a, in normal day in Jack's life. And Melissa McCracken, Paints how her favorite songs sound like. This is Led Zeppelin since I've been loving you. And there's a good chance that your favorite musicians have synesthesia. Kanye West, Pharrell Williams, Emily Alton, Stevie Wonder, Apex Twin, Charlie XCX, they all have it. And they have used it to make your favorite songs. Okay, so uh, what about the rest of it? What about people who don't have synesthesia? Well, do I have something for you? <laughs> Drum roll, roll, please. please.
aka the most amazing thing in the history of the most amazing things ever. But you know, we couldn't make that for that, so we had to shorten it to Simpson, you know. Simpsons is an interactive multimedia platform that aims to simulate or stimulate synesthesia. What do I mean by that? If you are a synesthetic, do we have any synesthetes here today? Hey, you're an artist, right? This can't be a coincidence. So, if uh, you are a synesthete and you're using Simpsense, <coughs> you will be able to trigger your synesthetic experiences. And if you don't have it, you can use Simpsense to, to see how it feels like to be one of us. Simpsons will use apps, websites, games, and other interactive media in order to illustrate this. And it can also help people whose senses may be compromised, such as colorblind people. Now let's fire up a completely non-existent hypothetical version of Simpsons to see how it works. When you fire up the app, we have a questionnaire that uh, asks you some basic questions about synesthesia. Are you synesthetic? Yes, no, maybe. And the answer is you input in this questionnaire will shape the way that you use SynSense. We're going to see two basic functions of SynSense. Color song and sound texting. Right. So, color song. Come on, yes. We can see a music library here. Every song has its own colors, as you can see on the right. Let's use Adele's Rolling in the Deep. On the surface, this looks like an ordinary music player, but do you see those little colored squares at the bottom? You tap one, and the background changes, obviously, but also the music changes. The, the instrument may sound different. And this is according to how a synesthete may perceive these colors. Let's uh, see video number one. Some texture will use your phone's camera. You will be able to take a picture of a monochromatic surface, for example, a shirt, a wall, a carpet, a screen, and it will scan it. Let's load video number two. Yes, I used that tab this time. We're scanning this table. Now let's listen to the table. And yet, you just heard what the table sounds like. And you will be able to use this sound to share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. For those of you who use SoundCloud, you will be able to make a song out of your shirt. You will be able to remix your own jeans. And, last but not least, after you're done using the SynSense, you will be able to if you want, you will be able to collect all the data that you used, the questionnaire at the beginning, the, your songs, your shirts, and you, will, you are able to send your data anonymously to the Synesthesia Association. This will help advance uh, scientific research of synesthesia, because there are still a lot of things we don't know about this. I mean, we just, it has been in humans forever, and we just found out about this 30 years ago. This is the logo, the icon of SynSense. As you can see, the spectrum gives it a kinetic feel, and the spectrum symbolizes the multifaceted nature of synesthesia. And this is SynSense in a nutshell. Are you ready? Thank you very much. I give you paintings, sonic paintings. You know, like I have synesthesia, like I can see sound mm -hmm. in front of me. So when I want to do fashion, I just want to give you, you know, sculptures. This is the sound of purple. For example, this is the sound of grass.